Hi. In this video, I'm going to discuss what we call design development, which is the third phase of the architectural project process. It's the fun part, or another fun part, because schematic design was awesome. Design development takes that awesomeness and makes it even better. Just to recap where we are in the architectural design project process is design development. So we have collected all the information that we need to start design and pre-design. We have worked with you to come up with a scheme you really love, which is a layout of the spaces and the general appearance of the building. Now we're in design development. And this is where it, the fun even gets better. What happens during design development is that we take the general idea that we came up with during schematic design and we start to flesh it out with reality. We start to bring in the structural engineer for one and uh, with, with the engineer's input, then we can start to see that maybe certain walls need to be longer or they need to be shifted to accommodate columns or make little design twi uh, tweaks to uh, ensure that the design still works and it'll stand up. Another consultant that we commonly get uh, involved during design development here in California is the, what we call the Title 24 uh, consultant. He is, this is the person who does the calculations that prove that the building is only using as much energy as it is allowed or uh, as uh, is most efficient. And so that takes a lot of number crunching and they go through a process and then they say, okay, you need to add more insulation here. You might need to make some of these windows smaller. Yes, you can have some skylights, but if you do that, maybe you have to forego a window. And so with that input, then we tweak the design a little bit more. So I know those two things didn't sound super exciting. Uh, only nerds like architects find those things exciting. But what you would find really exciting is that during design development is when we start to select all of the materials, all of the fixtures, all of the fittings. So it's kind of like shopping because it is. And what we do is we go out and we select all of the plumbing fixtures. So all of the faucets, the toilets, the sinks, the tubs, the showers, and we pick the materials like countertops and tile and flooring. We think about all the different manufacturers uh, for windows and doors and find the ones that we really like. And there's all kinds of materials that can be used in a building. Uh, exterior materials, interior materials, roofing materials, all that good stuff. It all has to be picked. And that's when you start to worry about color and pattern and all that good stuff so that you want, it, it really does inform the design. And it's also a place where huge expense can be incurred if you pick really expensive stuff. Or you, this is a place where you can save a lot of money if you are really judicious about where you spend it and where you save on other materials. But each of those materials has their own requirements, their own dimensions, and one window, when window manufacturers mullion systems will look different than another's. And so that also means little tweaks to the design to make it all to com come together in a coherent whole. Those are the three kind of big things. We deal with structural engineers. We deal with the energy uh, requirements. We deal, deal with the materials, the fixtures, the fittings. We also talk about uh, the mechanical systems, electrical systems. Do you want built-in vacuum, built-in uh, intercoms or sound systems or home theaters or security systems? All of that stuff gets picked. Uh, that's what happens during design development. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or worthwhile, feel free to subscribe or watch more videos.